what is up guys we're back with another destiny video and it's uh it's pretty late here uh at the minute so if i'm talking quiet it's because i'm trying to be considerate for other people out of my house here huh? and um so real quickly let me check this properties levels okay we're good so this is to cheese the bridge in a way and i guess it's um it's kind of cheesing. So what you want to do is you want to go in that back room there, wait for all the thrall to despawn, and then kill the guy, and or the sword bearer, and uh, hop over. Well, my friend kind of screwed up there, but uh, you'll you'll get another chance to see here. Um, so, kind of a rushed intro there, but uh, yeah, this is gonna be cheesing the bridge. So. With two people, actually. You could actually do this solo. But, um... So, you'll see here, actually, now... From the beginning... For uh, what I do... And... So, what you gotta do... You gotta activate the plate first. Make the, uh, the thrall spawn. Then you gotta hop back into this room. Back here. And, uh... It, normally, we w I really wouldn't cheese the bridge. But, I mean... I really hate finding a raid group. Oh, there's that damn hook. And, uh, I hate finding a raid group, so doing it with two people is just a lot easier. And, um, yeah. So, wait about five to eight seconds. Thrall will despawn. The only guy left is the sword bear. From here, you're gonna just pick him off. And, uh, you're, you're free to pick up the sword. I got some heavy ammo there. Um, so I would suggest giving it to your lowest level character first. If, uh, just because... Uh, trust me it works better uh, the hunters are the only one that have a hard time making it and you're probably not going to be able to make it onto the bridge so what you're going to want to do is you want to go over onto that rock right there where my friend's going right now and just land perfectly on top it's not hard at all uh, you have to do a little maneuvering because there is a a drop on the other side of the rock that you can actually fall into and die so you have to land on the very top of the crevice just on the crevice of the rock to actually get on top to where my friend is and then from there, you have to, what I do is, uh, I kill a few guys over there, like, you know, between three and four guys, and you can also stay up there, well, my friend fell down, but, uh, if you stay up there, you, you should be good, but I kill between three and four guys, and doing this will make them realize that, hey, there was a guy over there already, and we're gonna send out another sword bearer, and, uh, so the game thinks that, uh, he's over there and done his job, so the game sends out this sword bear here and then you just kill it and you can do this with up as many people as you want but if you have six people I just suggest doing it the normal way uh, this would probably take too long um, well it wouldn't take too long but it, I just I don't know it's up to you how you want to do it um, then you just gotta kill him if this guy would stop hiding on me kind of annoying um, once he dies you're good to go and I'll explain more how to get Oh my, I'm bad at throwing grenades. More heavy ammo. Um, so what you're going to want to do when you're up to go, uh, the Titans can make it really easy. What you want here is you want range. You do not want height. Uh, you want to use your jump as much as you can. Um, and then you line up with the bridge as soon as possible. Because if you don't, there will be a death barrier and it will kill you. Uh, that's why I went down like the lane, I guess, of the bridge against the flames like you saw there. Um, and then I just kind of went back here. Um, and something... Oh, well, there's my cat. Hold up. God damn it. Hold up. Well, that's not annoying. Alright, so, uh, I forgot where I was. Um, you're going to want to clear out all these guys. Wait till the uh, wizards spawn. Kill them. Um... To get the wizard spawn, you usually have to kill a few knights. Once the wizard spawn, the ogre spawn. Something weird that's happened, I've done this multiple times, and something weird that has happened is sometimes the ogres will spawn and the wizards don't even come out, ever. And I'm not sure why, but, I mean, it only speeds it up, but when the ogres do spawn, I didn't notice this the first time, we just got lucky. Those um, totems, they will activate, and all you have to do is you have to step on it for, like, just a few seconds and it'll it'll reset the uh, totem annihilator shit and um, I, get, I have no idea how my friend and I got around this because it, A didn't activate or B we just got lucky and stepped on it randomly 
But um, yeah, all you have to do is you'll see them lighting up. You'll see them start to expand and turn red. And you just want to step on there real, real quick. And then you can just hop off and it'll continue to do it. But you just have to step on it really quick. And um, so then from here, it's pretty much all downhill. You just got to gotta kill the ogres. Uh, I think they're about to spawn any second because this video is not much longer. And this is the video where I do it. Mm. Yeah, it might take a while. Yep, there they are. So I would recommend the Galahorn Icebreaker. I, uh, I think I use Exodus Plan and uh, Icebreaker here. But uh, these guys will wreck you if you're a low level. Um, yeah. But once these guys are dead, I took out this one, my friend took out the other, and uh, we're on our way there with uh, loot. Yeah. So that's how you do the uh, cheese the bridge with just two people. You can even do this solo, like I said, a bit harder. But that's how you cheese the bridge here, guys. Hope you liked it. Don't, you, don't forget to uh, give a like, comment, and subscribe. I just hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. So much, right? I want to do something for you guys. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe you guys want to comment something, and if I decide it's worthy of it, I will, uh, I, I may do it. But until next time, guys, see you then. Peace out.